Hello guys, welcome back to another cool and exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to increase your laptop or desktop hard disk up to a limited storage capacity. This cream and service providing Microsoft company and it is free. We will use uh, Microsoft company service and increase our hard disk uh, storage capacity up to a limited or terabyte uh, storage within a few seconds. Okay, let's come firstly and let's check it. As you see over here, there is not free variation. As you see, this one is 365 GB, 15 GB, and 100 GB, and this one is 7.39 GB. There is no any storage which have uh, to, uh, around terabyte storage. And to do so, uh, you know, came here in this PC, click in this PC, and right click and then manage. Click or manage over here. Uh, then after after you click on manage and you will face something just like this then after click in disk management here and now it's loading then after in disk management right click and then create vhd we said vhd over here create click into it and now as you see over here it is asking at the location and then click on browse then after over here you can just uh, locate any uh, location except local C. You can just locate to any drive, even if you have a flash drive or pen drive from uh, your PC. And just let me make it in backup over here. Click and then over here, let me rename it one terabyte. Then after save here. And then over here, it is asking us uh, virtual hard, hard disk side. If you need by megabyte, you can make it by gigabyte also, and then by terabyte. Let me make it by terabyte. And then over here, I need uh, it's only you know, it will enable around only one terabyte. Let me click one terabyte. Then after from fixed size, dynamical expanding over here. Click in this, and then okay, here. As you see now over here, we've got uh, one terabyte. Uh, free space is allocated actually and then click in this right click then after initializing disk reset click in this and then for uh, make click on MBR we said master record and then click into it and then click OK here now right click click in this and right click click on new simple volume over here then next next then after you can just uh, assign any letter you need just let me make it H letter next format using NTFS and default let me name it volume this one is uh, uh, let me make the name it one terabyte then after next finish it's so now as you see now it's formatting here now exit and then came to this pc as you see over here we've got uh, one terabyte operation uh, uh, which is freely and let's check whether it's uh, real or really or no it's really working or not okay let's copy uh, one movie from here uh, just for example let me copy one movie from here uh, or just let me copy this one the arabic which said and then let's check the size or let me copy this movie actually the size of this movie is as you see over here 0 0.98 gb then after right click copy then after back here right click uh, sorry i pasted shortcut let me paste it paste here as you see now it's pasting did you see it's pasting the movie into this here now it's pasting it's now on the way of finishing here paste it then refresh here did you see this me close and then open from the first then after here here as you see over here 0 0.98 GB and it's work in reality here uh, sorry over here 
this one is the movie that I copy and paste over there and uh, let's copy this folder also let's check whether it's work now also let me show you copy then after over here paste did you see it's now pasting here paste yeah did you get here did you see paste and it's working in reality but you know guys uh, when you restart your computer you will unable to see this hard drive or uh, uh, variation this variation you can't see and to uh, check this or you know you should have to make it uh, uh, you should have to just uh, order him to give or to show this uh, variation and to do this firstly let's restart our computer and I will show you the next step here I'm gonna uh, just restart my computer then after we will see together what will happen let me power here and now as you see we restarted our computer and then let's check first wow did you see it's unhide already it's invisible now okay let's make it visible and as before click on this PC right click then after manage over here then after came in disk management here then after right click attach VHD we said here browse the location that uh, we have been located here then after open then after okay here now exit over here did you see once you arrive and let's check the file inside it did you see all are visible by using this way you can just make it attach or you can make it uh, visible and uh, you know uh, but as an, and I, I need to tell you uh, something and uh, you know there is uh, it have one problem that is uh, you know it uh, will uh, just uh, get half from uh, this uh, from the location that you need to locate it I mean our uh, file if we check over here now Let's check this file uh, size here 1.31 GB and then if we check here this file this 1.40 GB did you see when you just copy the file inside this this uh, the file of uh, this file is also become increased if we uh, let's uh, let me uh, show you for uh, this also for example let's copy this one plugin of Adobe said 685 megabyte let's copy this file and then uh, paste inside this here now it's pasting let's let have some patience till it's finished in the way of finishing here it's already finished now let's check all of them size yeah. here 198 GB then after here for this one also as you see over here 2 GB before it is 101.40 GB now it's increased 2.04 GB but in reality it, is, it work but it takes some uh, space from uh, the location that you are you, you have uh, saved or that you located when we create this variation by using this way you can just uh, increase your uh, hard disk space or hard disk variation uh, this is all that I have for you today guys I hope all of you enjoyed and learned something from it from our today's uh, tutorial thank you very much for watching thank you very much for uh, your uh, attention and attentive I will see you guys on the next one till that stay tuned and make sure that you keep following I'm with Simple Pixel Studio